Hey down please, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to get into Jungkook and what has been going on with him. He talked about a new mix top A. And some people were hoping that Jungkook would go solo and leave BTS. I have some thoughts on this and I want to add to the conversation. I also want to get into V's relationship with someone who helps him write songs and does other things as well. So grab your dumpling tea spilling mug merch and let's get into the tea. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video drops. And if you're a hater, I'd like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now let's jump into it. The first thing I want to jump into is what Jungkook has announced recently. I think that we all know Tan has been planning a mixtape for years now. I think it's something we've all been waiting for, and we've definitely been curious on what the sound might be, because even his own voice has changed so much, and gotten a lot better, and of course his songwriting and storytelling skills as well. I don't think they were bad before, but all of the members have vastly improved since debut, as you should, right? I've been curious to know if any of the other members were planning anything recently. And I think perhaps them seeing Taehyung working so hard on his mixtape eh? and seeing how proud he is of his mixtape, I think all of the members got excited on what their mixtape could be and were inspired to come forward and say they're working on something or starting. Jungkook in one of the recent interviews on the Behind Story interview, interviewed by none other than our beautiful Mr. Hobi. Can I say J-Hope would make a great great interviewer or like a talk show host if he ever wanted to go down that path. I don't know if the questions were written beforehand, but they were definitely good questions. As someone who has done interviews, like asking people questions, I think it's very important to know the person or know something about the person you're interviewing. So you can get more than just surface level questions. Just good journalism, I guess. I think I'd be great at interviewing my husbands. I know everything about them. But one thing led to another, and Joker responded, saying how he wants a mixtape, hopefully to have it out soon. He didn't say it'll be out soon, but I am hoping. But he did say he wanted a mixtape with three main tracks. So essentially, these would be the title songs, with a music video, and then have choreography and all that. I mean, what, Cookie? Three videos? What are you doing? Do you not think of the health of armies when you do this? Is this something that doesn't occur? Because we will buy all of the mixtapes and just skip dinner. We will faint. We will hear one note and then faint because we have been waiting so long. Now, while I am super excited to get a mixtape and get more content, I do feel like they have been on hiatus for a little bit. I know they're still putting out stuff, but it feels like it's been a while since a music video. But it seems like there were some people who were excited for the mixtape because it could mean that Jungkook would be leaving BTS or this would be a way to get Jungkook to leave BTS. After the announcement of a possible Jungkook new mixtape, video and choreography, I went on the tweet to see the general reaction of Jungkook having a solo or whatever. And I did find some tweets like this. Jungkook, please debut solo. You have a new fandom of positive loving fans who already love your singing. You'll be much more successful as a solo artist without any comparison with below average people who survive on sympathy wave slash charity. BTS is nothing without Jungkook and Jungkook is nothing without BTS. I don't want Jungkook to go solo because obviously he plays a big part in BTS's music. And I love the fact that I can hear Jungkook's voice alongside rappers like RM, J-Hope, and Suga. So I definitely do want more BTS music. Having really nice songs like Euphoria here and there is amazing. But I do stand all my boys together first and foremost. I think it's super weird to request something like this because I don't think it's what Jungkook would want either. For people to only stand him and hate the other members. I'm not saying whoever wrote this is not gay, which is like a really toxic type of solo fan where they extremely hate the other members. Because I don't think based on this tweet, maybe I just don't like thinking the worst of people, even haters. Because there's a lot of people who will listen to a band or a group and be like, you know, I think this person's better on their own. But in this case, I don't think Jungkook would want to leave. Otherwise, they wouldn't have recently just signed a contract for another seven years. Jungkook would have been like, peace, and then have a solo. I also think Jungkook feels like he needs the other members. If I had to choose being in a boy group or solo, I think I would choose a boy group 10 out of 10 times, especially if you don't hate the members, which if you have seen a BTS's reality show in The Soup, which I react to on my Patreon, by the way, link below, you can definitely see that they all love each other. But a boy group is almost easier because you can rely on each other. You don't feel alone on stage. And most importantly, the art can be better. Because let's say you can't hit that high note or low note acting, or maybe you're just not the best dancer. I'm not saying this is Jungkook. 
I'm saying everyone has something they're not the best at. If you're in a boy group, you can lean on those members who are better at those things to take that part. Like kind of fill in the weak points, you know what I'm saying? So BTS, stay in BTS, in my opinion, is just going to make the best music. And a lot of people who want Jungkook to go alone need to realize that Jungkook wouldn't be this amazing if it wasn't for the other members too. He has spoken about constantly that all the members have supported him when he wanted to quit and to not be so hard on himself when he messes up. The rare times he messes up, he don't be messing up a lot. I love that our boys are hardworking. It's my favorite thing about people, seeing how passionate they are about anything. Like passionate robber, that's sexy. Like you really want my stuff. I'm kidding. But I love seeing BTS's passion. Tan or V Daddy is someone who is spiritual, which I didn't know about until very recently. He very much believes in an outer force, helping him and getting him where he needs to be. When he loses his games, in one of the recent Run BTS episodes, he said that the angels were not helping him this time, which I thought was so funny. I always think it's super cute cute to see our baby kind of get frustrated. I love a frustrated husband or wife. That's probably why I'm single. Wow, realization. That's character development. But during a more recent event for the Behind interview, Tang was interviewed and asked about his favorite part in his song, Blue and Gray. He said that when he was working on this song, I guess he was having some difficulty putting down some of his thoughts. So he decided he was going to call out his muse, the person that helps him a lot, which is his angel. He talks about how he believes in angels and how they come and help him in his time of need. He ended up saying, the phrase, where is my angel? And he liked it. This was exactly what he said. When I was first coming up with the melody, I tried singing it once. As you already know, I believe in my angel. So I believe in my angel. And when I was working on the guide track, I thought, I should hum the melody like this. And I started humming and I said the phrase, where's my angel? And I love that phrase. I think it's important for us to all have spiritual beliefs or something like that. Whether you're an atheist or not, it's important to have faith and hope into something. It gives you more of a reason and motivation. I do believe in karma. I think Tam believes in karma as well as angels and all of that. I wonder if he believes in zodiac signs. I'm not a huge zodiac sign person, but maybe he is. Maybe we're compatible. That means we must get married. By the laws of the stars and stuff, right? Is that how that works? Suddenly, I'm a believer of zodiac signs. I wanted to see what some people were saying about this over an old tweetster. One person wrote, He is an angel himself for millions of armies and his close one, our one and only Kim Tam. I think a lot of us look to someone, whether that's something spiritual or someone who is like a physical being, such as the idols we look up to. I think we look at them for inspiration and direction, letting us know we are doing the right thing. And a lot of people look up to Taeyang, which is why during streams, people ask for advice and everyone is doing the right thing. I believe that. Keep doing you and if you have faith, it will work out. But also if it's not getting you where you need to go, try something different and find what works. That ending part is what people tend to leave out, but it's important. I look up to Taeyang. I think he is awesome. I aspire to be as creative and talented as he is. More so than that, I aspire to be as good of a person. I try so hard to be a good person and I never think I do enough, but it's a weird line to walk on to be nice in New York City and not seem like a pushover because the city will take advantage of you. So I'll figure it out one day. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I'm featuring it in this comment right here. Thank you so much for your comments. As always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and check stuff out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or it getting taken down, so I do keep it over there on my Patreon. You can get reaction videos like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can also recommend things you would like to see over there. Link is in the top of the description down below. Also, anything you contribute over there gives back to this channel. I have a video over there explaining that, which is free to watch. With that said, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video, so click on one of those and I'll see you over there. Bye.